Hey everyone! Today I've got your Bad Moms movie review. A group of moms decide to band together to form this group that clearly undermines these PTA board leaders who think they're all that. As far as the story goes, this is a movie that I was really hesitant on seeing because I just didn't really like the look of the trailers and just seeing how the overall comedy was looking, I wasn't really impressed with it so far. So then when I eventually went to see it, I was just not impressed whatsoever with the outcome. This movie just... I don't know, there was something about it where I feel like it was trying to send a message or it was trying to make itself look like a decent film because you have all these comedic actresses in it and of course, oh, that's supposed to save a movie, right? I'm talking to you, Ghostbusters. That's a movie that I still didn't like and this movie was no different. I don't know what it is with putting certain actresses together and they think that the ensemble cast is supposed to make a difference, but in this case it really didn't and I wasn't too surprised by that, so I wasn't really looking forward to even finishing this movie, but I had to see if maybe there was a slight chance that, you know, something would save this movie. As far as the casting goes, Mila Kunis plays this mom of these two kids who is having issues with her husband and all of a sudden she becomes this leader of this mom group who decide to run against this one person to be the PTA board leader and trying to change things because clearly being labeled a bad mom is not a good thing, especially when it comes to your kids and raising them and all that stuff. So I feel like this movie doesn't really send a good message at that. And you're trying to be this strong individual. And I feel like Mila Kunis, I have not seen a bad movie with her in it. And I feel like this is one movie that is just downright terrible. I don't know what happened there, but it didn't really affect her acting per se. You've got some actresses who are not unfamiliar with being in the comedy scene. And you've got Kristen Bell, who was previously seen in another Bad Love movie that I reviewed, which was The Boss with Melissa McCarthy. And clearly her career has just gone downhill from there. And I don't know what's going on with her lately, but I was just not impressed with her at all. And even Katherine Hahn, don't even get me started. Uh, ever since I saw her in The Visit, I mean, it makes her role in The Visit look tame compared to this. I mean, her acting in this movie was just atrocious. I just couldn't stand uh, the things that she was doing, the things that she was saying, the way she was acting. I just could not believe my eyes. Her interactions with the other... Uh, women. It was just really weird and I was just jaw dropped to the floor because of how grossed out I was at times. And then you've got Christina Applegate who was in Vacation, another bad love movie that I saw. This movie did not change whatsoever with her and I didn't really like her character at all. In fact, I hated her. Her character being this like mean girl or should I say mean woman and then you've got Jada Pickett Smith who I thought was going to make a difference in this film but clearly didn't even add much to the film surprisingly this is a bad love review contender because I just could not stand this film and everything that was going on in its entirety I feel like it was a complete waste of time to watch I know some people who have seen this movie and have had some bad things to say about it and I couldn't agree more. And I guess if you're already a mom and you want to see this movie, I can see where that hype train would be coming from, but I just feel like this isn't a movie that people should be seeing because it doesn't send any good messages whatsoever and I think movies nowadays should do that. So, unfortunately, the things that I didn't really like about this film, there were some random slow motion scenes going on, and that 
scene in the grocery store and other scenes in this movie with some music added to it. I just thought were really stupid. It was like a weird concept to add to a film like this. I don't know what was going on there because it really wasn't funny whatsoever, including the dialogue, which I found to be pretty stupid. And the people that were uh, just uh, saying all these jokes and they were all falling flat, I uh, just could not laugh once in this movie. I thought I would, but I didn't, and I was just kind of grossed out and unimpressed watching this film. So overall, I would say that Bad Moms, you know, the title speaks for itself. It was a bad movie, which is why this is a bad love review. So it's kind of ironic there. So I would not recommend seeing this movie. So I would give this zero hearts on the heart rate scale. So let me know in the comments what you guys thought of Bad Moms. Let me know if you have seen this movie because, you know, maybe you related to it somehow. I don't see how anybody could relate to this movie at all. And as always, you guys can subscribe to my channel. I've got more movie reviews, movie updates, come every week for a Trail Thursday video. You guys can also like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And I will see you guys later.